Hello everybody, welcome to my office makeup collection. guys a little tour of my makeup collection in my office. I'm going to be going through everything, telling you kind of my thought process behind all the products that are here because everything that is here is quite intentional. This isn't really a typical makeup collection video because this isn't what I would consider to be my personal makeup collection. All the makeup that I have here is really here for a purpose and that purpose is of course my job. You guys know obviously <laughs> that YouTube and creating beauty videos is my job and so these makeup products are here specifically for my videos. So when I was trying to figure out the makeup products that I wanted to bring over to my office and how I wanted to store it, that was really my main focus. I really just wanted to be curated enough that it made the process of me choosing makeup for videos or organizing makeup for videos as easy and as streamlined as possible. I also have a little station over here, which is definitely not a typical part of a makeup collection setup. This is what I like to call my prep station. And this is basically where I prep for my videos and I also do my unboxing. So I'll show you guys my whole process there too, because I don't know, I feel like it could be interesting. So I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. Hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy today's video and subscribe if you wanna join the fam. And without further ado, Ow. <laughs> let's get into it. So let's first talk about the actual unit that my makeup is sitting in. When I first got my office space, that was like my main concern. I just didn't really know how I wanted to store my makeup. At my home, I actually store my makeup in an Ikea, I think it's called the Pax unit. It's basically a closet. <laughs> and I have these giant drawers where I store my makeup and that's really good for a really large collection. But I mean, I wasn't about to start building a closet in my office. I just didn't really want to do that. I also wanted something that was cost effective. And so I decided to go with a shelving unit from Ikea. First of all, there's plenty of space for me to add organizers. I'm also able to add shelves as I need them or take them away when I don't need them. And so I can make this as simple or as complex as I wanted. Besides that, I really wanted to keep everything else really simple, keeping the decor to a minimum. I actually have up here a little print that I made, which I'm so proud of. This is actually a little recreation of one of my product shots of a Gucci lipstick that I created in Procreate on my iPad. And that actually brings me to today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. If you're not familiar with Skillshare, it is actually an online learning community where you're able to learn pretty much like anything you could possibly think of. I've actually been a user of Skillshare for a really, really long time. I used to use their classes to learn more about video editing. When I wanted to learn how to do a specific technique, I would go onto Skillshare and look at the tutorials. I've also been trying to find new creative avenues um, to just kind of keep myself busy. And again, Skillshare is a really great way to kind of learn something new, try something new, because like I said, they have classes on literally anything you can think of. So I really wanted to have my own art displayed in my office, and I thought it would be really cool to have some of my favorite makeup products illustrated in this like big unit, because obviously, hello. It is a makeup collection. I just felt like it made sense. So Procreate is actually a drawing app that you can get on the iPad and it is so much fun to use. I have used it before in the past and I've done a bunch of different illustrations, but I kind of just like did it without really learning about it. And while it's a really simple and easy program to use, I wanted to get the most out of it. And so learning from other people who are obviously more experienced in the program is a really great way to get the most out of the app. So I followed a course called Fun With Faces, Create a Stylized Digital Portrait. And even though this course was all about how to illustrate faces, I was able to take the tips that I learned and apply them to my product illustrations. I actually learned quite a bit about how to use brushes in Procreate. Before I was kind of just like haphazardly using anything that I thought worked. And now I'm using the brushes with way more intention and knowledge. And now I actually feel like I kind of know what I'm doing and I'm really excited to continue to do more and more illustrations. I honestly kind of feel like it's it's a new love of mine. I actually posted these on my Instagram stories and you guys really love them and a lot of you were saying that you wanted to see me create an Etsy shop and actually create more of these digital illustrations. And honestly, I'm kind of considering it. So thank you Skillshare for kind of allowing me to 
find this new compassion of mine. I'm like super excited about it. So if you're interested in trying out Skillshare, you can check out the link in my description box. And the first 1000 people to use the link will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership. I think that's kind of it for the overview. So now let's actually get into each individual makeup organizer and what's in it. Hi, just switched over to my vlog camera and I figured it'd be easiest to show you guys my collection of vlog styles. So let's get started. So here's an overview of my makeup station and how everything looks. We have my makeup collection on one side and then my prep station right next to it. Starting off first, I just wanted to show you guys my print up close and personal. Isn't it the cutest thing ever? I love it so much. And I put it next to this really cute vase from HomeSense. Moving down to the next shelf, we have all of my cream products. So we have my cream highlighters, cream bronzers, and cream blushes, as well as my concealers and some lip products. So the organizer itself is from Cosmo Cube. I got this years ago and it's still doing me really well. It's a great acrylic organizer. It's very good quality. And I really do like the size of the drawers, especially for my bigger products, like my cream blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. As you can also see, all of my drawers are labeled so that I know exactly what's in everything. I used this guy over here. This guy is a manual label maker. I got this off of Amazon. It's really great. It takes a lot of time to actually create the label, but it gives you this really cool kind of retro labeled look. You probably recognize that style of labeling from Pinterest because it's very popular over there, but it's really great and I love it. And I use this to label pretty much everything. Okay, so starting off first, ooh, down here with my cream blushes. <laughs> Of course, we have my M Cosmetic Serum Blushes. These are so fantastic. I have all of the shades because I love them so much. They're very, very, very dewy and natural looking on the face. Um, I also have my Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Blushes. These are really pretty. They're kind of like blush highlighters. The Glossier Cloud Paints, of course. The new Rare Beauty Liquid Blushes. Next to that, I have the Jouer Blush and Bloom Inspire Cheek and Lip Duo. These are dual-ended cream products. I haven't tried these out yet, but I put them in here because I need to try them out. Back here, I have a ton of my new six cream blushes. Then I have two of my Fenty cream blushes in uh, Fuego Flush and Strawberry Dip. Of course, had to bring my Tower 28 blushes. I love these so much. And my MAC Glow Play. These aren't really cream, but they're also not really powder. So I didn't really know where to put them, but I decided on here. <laughs> so those are all of my cream blushes. Again, keep in mind, my goal for all of these products and organizing all these products is not to overwhelm each drawer with a ton of product. I wanted to be able to see everything that I had in here. So I didn't wanna to put too much. This is probably one of the more full drawers that I have. You'll see in the other ones, there's very little product in there and that's because first of all i need room to put things in once i receive new product from pr and i also just want to be able to see everything because i've learned from my organization at home that it can get very overwhelming when i have too much product to look at and i'll just end up using the same thing over and over again because i don't even want to have to deal with it and so i want to avoid that as much as possible and just keep things really at a minimal so now moving on to my cream bronzers i've got two of my fenty creams in amber which is the very cool toned one and macchiato one of my favorites huda beauty tantor and fair this is one of my favorite creams for more of like a full glam look the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand, really good contour color. Of course, I had to bring my Tom Ford Cream with me, one of my favorites, especially for every day. The problem is, is that I actually like to use this like day to day. And so to have this in my studio, it kind of sucks because I don't have it with me when I'm getting ready in the morning if I'm not coming to my studio. And so that's my problem. And so I think what I may end up doing is putting the products that I really do use every single day in a makeup bag and kind of bringing them back and forth between my home and my studio. My second option is just to purchase doubles, which kind of sucks. And I honestly would rather not do that, but that's really like the only downside to having my makeup here. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. Also have my Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick, which I feel like is kind of expired, honestly, but it's okay, we'll just keep that there for now. My Neod Photography Fluid, I love this as well. This is a great kind of glowy liquid bronzer. One of my favorites from the drugstore, the Physician's Formula Sculpting Bronzer. I actually started off really disliking this, but I now really like it. Tower 28 Bronzino. Oma Beauty Contour and Highlight Stick, Nude 6 Bondi Bay, and then my Debronzy 
from Drunk Elephant. This is great to bronze up foundations and primers. Moving on up to my cream highlighters. First, I have some of my new Rare Beauty liquid highlighters in Mesmerize. Transcend, beautiful like bronzy color. And then Flaunt, which is a really, really pretty kind of soft rose, rosy gold. I also brought with me my Kevin O'Quan um, gl Glass Glow Face Illuminizer. This is a product that I kind of forgot about, and that's something that I try to do when picking products to bring to my studio. I wanted to bring products that I wanted to use more of. And again, like I said, at home, I do find my collection to be a little bit overwhelming sometimes, and so I just forget about some products. And so I brought over products that I also wanted to just give some more love, and, and this is one of them. Then I also have my Elia liquid light highlighter, uh, my Marc Jacobs strobing stick, RMS Living Luminizer, Glossier Play Lu uh, Luminizer in Pale Pearl, um, some Hourglass sticks. These I also feel like I want to give more love to. Tower 28. This is called No Shade. It's basically just like a, a Vaseline style highlighter. It just gives you a gloss with zero color. Um, and then this one is Stunning. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Light Wand, one of my all-time favorite highlighters in Spotlight. This, this one makes me drool a little bit. It's so beautiful. Up here, I have my concealers. Honestly, I kind of hate that my concealers are with my cream blush bronzers high highlighters, but it just ended up that way. So this is how it is going to be for now. But these are all of my favorite concealers. <laughs> Yes, I do have five of these NARS Soft Matte Concealers, mostly because three of them were just sent to me in PR, and so I just put them in here, but I did actually bring two of them with me initially. I love these. They're really great for the face. They really stay put, um, especially underneath a mask. Like these, these do not really transfer that much, which I really, really like. I also have two of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers, the Becca Corrector, Josie Maron Vibrancy, some full coverage concealers back back here. The Too Faced Born This Way, Dior Forever Skin. The Hourglass is another one of my favorite full coverage concealers, as well as the this Jouer Essential one is pretty good too. Oh, and also this Laura Mercier one is a really good full coverage concealer too. For every day, the Elia True Skin Serum, Kosas, another one of my favorites. And then back here, I have the Charlotte Tilbury um, Magic Away Wand and the L'Oreal Lumi. That's that, beautiful. All right, now moving to the right of that, we have my other Cosmo Cube organizer. I love this organizer so much because the drawers are very, very shallow. And so it doesn't allow me to stack products in these drawers, which just lets me kind of see absolutely everything that's in here. And again, I want to be able to see everything so that I can get use out of all of these products. And so when I'm looking for products for videos, I don't always go towards the same things. Starting off first at the bottom here, we have my eye toppers and my single eyeshadows. Another one of my favorite drawers. This has all of my sparkly eye toppers, all of my single shadows, some cream shadows too, and some glitters back here. So starting off first at the front, um, eye toppers are probably some of my favorite makeup products. And so I really wanted to bring all of my favorites with me. And that includes my NARS Power Chromes. These are so freaking stunning. I brought all the ones that I have as well as my hourglass scattered light eyeshadows. These add so much dimension to any eye look. And I also brought some single eyeshadows. I didn't want to bring a ton because when it comes to single eyeshadows, I only wanted to bring the ones that I felt like actually added something to my collection because I did bring quite a few of my eyeshadow palettes with me. I didn't want to bring just like matte brown single eyeshadows just because it's not worth it so if i was going to bring something i wanted to really add to my collection not just create more clutter and take away space so that's why i brought a lot of my pat mcgrath single shadows because i find that a lot of them are quite unique and beautiful and they differ from a lot of the eyeshadows that are in my palettes i did also bring my ColourPop jelly much eyeshadows with me as well this is like a really unique formula they're kind of um I guess, a jelly texture. I really never got a lot of use out of these just because they were kind of hidden in my collection at home. And so I wanted to bring them here with me to inspire me to use them. Over here, I have some cream eyeshadows. These are from MAC. We have Lane Low, Soft Ochre, Woodwinked, and Groundwork. I also have these ColourPop ones, which are similar. They're all matte and they're part of one of their newer collections and I just thought that they would be perfect for eyeshadow bases to have here. Back here, as you can see, I have all of my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliners. I wanted to bring 
all of my Urban Decay liners with me because these are probably my favorite ways to apply glitter because it's mess free, it's easy. They're all just in a liner format so you could kind of just swipe it on and you don't have to really worry about fallout or creating a mess and it's just a beautiful way to amp up any eyeshadow look and now moving on to powders which again kind of doesn't really make sense in this <laughs> in this uh section but it, whatever it's fine for now like i said i didn't want to overwhelm this collection so i kept it really simple i just brought a couple here with me go through them quickly two of my laura mercier ones the glow and then the uh, normal translucent one. This is actually one of the new Gucci powders. It's it's quite beautiful actually. I've been using it a bit recently. One of my favorites, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Hourglass Veil uh, by Terry Hyaluronic When Wild uh, Photo Focus Press Powder. Mac next to nothing, and then my Pat McGrath Under Eye Setting Powder in medium. And that's it. Next, we have liquid eyeshadows. Another one of my favorite makeup categories. I love liquid eyeshadows, especially for bases for eyeshadow looks, especially these Huda Beauty Matte Metal Cream Shadows. They are so beautiful. Each one has a matte side and more of like a shimmery metallic side. Honestly, I need to use the metallic sides more because they're so pretty, but I mostly use these for the matte shades, especially because these shades in particular, like this pink one, this purple, this lilac shade and this yellow, they're quite unique. And I don't have any other eyeshadow base that is this type of shade. And so I use them often when I want a fun look. On the right here, I have these new eye poppers from One Size Beauty. I haven't tried these yet, but I wanted to obviously try them. So I put them right in my collection as soon as I got them in PR. Back here, I have the Stila Liquid Eyeshadows in a couple different finishes. I have the metallic ones, the glitter ones, and then the suede or matte ones. These guys are the new Natasha Denona Duochrome Liquid Eyeshadows. They're very, very pretty. They all have very interesting tones to them. So I wanted to put these in here as well. Next, we have my liners. So in this drawer, I use the separators to separate into three different categories. And I feel like this works perfectly. So I have my nude lip liners, my colorful lip liners, and then my eyeliners. So starting off first over here, I really just made sure to bring the lip liners that I find that I use the most. And the nude lip liners really are my most used lip liner category. So I was very picky in choosing which ones I wanted to bring to my studio. I have a couple here from MAC. We have Spice, Boldly Bare, Soar, Whirl. Oh, that's another Soar. I have two Soars in here. And then Chicory. I also brought with me these M Cosmetics Velvet Blur lip liners. These are brand new and I've been using them a ton. I love the colors that they, that they came out with. They're really, really good nudes. Of course, my Makeup Forever Artist lip liners. These are some of my favorites. We have Anywhere Caffeine, which is uh, an oldie but a goodie for me. And uh, what is this? Limitless Brown Pat McGrath Contour. This is one of the best nude lip liners. This ColourPop lip liner in CTRL is also very, very good. Kind of similar to Limitless Brown from um, Makeup Forever. This Milani lip liner is also beautiful in 04. So for my bright colors, I wanted to bring a little bit of everything. Um, I wanted to just kind of be prepared for whatever look I decided to do. Keep in mind that I typically try to figure out what I'm filming before I get to my studio. So I will bring products from my house here if I feel like I need them and if I know that I don't have it at my studio. But I still do want to have as much options as possible here so that you know i'm never stuck so i made sure to have a nice variety of everything we have this beautiful pure orange color from makeup forever this one is in the shade any tangerine also have one from rimmel here in 104 um, these Urban Decay lip liners are some of my favorites. This is 714. They're so creamy and they really do last a long time. Charlotte Tilbury also has some of my favorite lip liners. Got some ColourPop ones here. Again, more MAC, Makeup Forever, One Wild, and that's kind of it. So this isn't the most extensive collection of bright or dark lip colors, but that's because I don't really use them that often. But again, still a little bit of everything here. So then we have my eyeliners. Again, I have a little bit of everything. I don't just have blacks and browns. Lots of the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencils. This one's in Chaos, a really great one. This is another blue in Electric, super pretty. 
I also brought all of my Marc Jacobs pencils here because these are some of my favorites, especially to use as eye bases. So you'll notice a lot of them here um, in the matte shades and in the more like metallic shades. I have, of course, my basics. This is my MAC um, Smolder. Got some Stila liquid eyeliners here. Oh my God, these milk ones, probably one of my favorite eyeliners. They're so incredibly creamy and they really do last a long time and they're very 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 pigmented so i have every color in these i have like the nude the brown blue black they're so good the last section up here is my mascara my brows and my etc <laughs> so these are all of like my basics so again i have a separator here separating this off into different sections i noticed that i brought my mark jacobs uh what is this even called again the velvet noir and i don't even like the velvet noir mascara so i don't know why that's here but we'll just ignore that for now but you'll recognize all of these we have my m cosmetics pick me up benefit roller lash mac giga black lash elia limitless maybelline lash sensational l'oreal bambi eye in the brown color and hourglass caution over here i have a bunch of different types of brow products we have some brow pens like this urban decay brow blade i also brought um, my mac brow pens my Marc Jacobs brow pencil, which is one of my current favorites. Some milk makeup brow gels from the Kush Fiber Brow Gel Collection. Um, we have Fenty, a lot of Benefit brow products because these are some of my favorites. Some Hourglass brow products, Glossier, et cetera, et cetera. This is my et cetera section. We have eye primers, Urban Decay, Hourglass, Too Faced uh, Glitter Glue. This is a lip balm from Lano Lips. We have some tweezer and tweezers, little sharpener and a lash glue. Moving on now to my acrylic drawers. So these are amazing. I actually got them from Canadian Tire. They're from the brand, The Home Edit. If you're familiar with The Home Edit show on Netflix, this is their brand. First of all, they are stackable. In case I do ever wanna stack them, I I'll be able to, which is great. And I also really like the fact that there's a divider in between them. So I could have two different categories of products in one drawer and it's separated. So starting off first with the skincare part of this drawer, um, this really isn't crazy exciting. I just needed to bring some skincare products that would work well from underneath makeup. I didn't need to bring my skincare routine with me. It's really purely for makeup application. I have some of my favorite moisturizers for underneath makeup. This Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream is kind of a hate love thing for me. Um, sometimes I love this for underneath makeup, especially for more of a matte look because it adds a lot of glow, but sometimes I do find it's too glowy, but I do get use out of it. So I wanted to bring it with me. This Pharmacy Daily Greens is amazing for underneath makeup because it's very lightweight. Same thing with my Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. This is an like old favorite of mine. And then I have my Sika Pear from Dr. Jart. This is more of a thicker moisturizer in case my skin is really, really dry. And this is another great, very lightweight moisturizer from Glow Recipe. For eye creams, I did bring a couple with me, maybe a little bit too much to be honest with you. But first I have this um, First Day Beauty Eye Duty Niacinamide Brightening Eye Cream. This is actually a tinted eye cream. Because of that tint and it almost has a glow to it, it really does brighten up underneath the eyes. It's quite a nice eye cream actually. I also have my SkinCeuticals Age Eye Complex, one of my favorites. And then I also have my Laneige Eye Balm or Eye Cream right here too. This is a fresh bottle of Alper Oils Midnight Boost, one of my favorite facial oils. It's so good for underneath makeup, especially in the winter time. And then for makeup removers, I have my Bioderma Micellar Water. And I also have a cleansing balm here in case I ever need to remove a full face while I'm at my office. Back here, I have all of my facial sprays, whether that's to set my makeup or just to kind of refresh my face. Of course, we got my YouTube People Adaptogen Soothe and Hydrate Activated Mist, such a hydrating formula. It's like serum in a mist form. I love this thing to death. One of my all-time favorite products, honestly. It's so freaking good. Then for my long wear setting sprays, Urban Decay All Nighter is wonderful. This cover effects performance setting spray, also really great. Oh, also this Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray really does like, I feel fine smooths the skin a little bit and works really, really good for longevity. I don't like the smell. I find it's a little bit too fragrance for my liking, but it works, man. Also brought my Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Powder. I started off really not liking this and now I'm starting to like it. I really do find that it kind of smooths over my makeup really nicely. Obviously, MAC Fix Plus. I feel like a makeup collection just is not complete without it. Then I have some glowy setting sprays. Rare Beauty, Glow Recipe, Lila B, 
Uh, this is Pixie, and then a primer water from Snatchbox. Okay, so now moving on to my powder blush, bronzer, and highlighter drawer. This guy I separated as follows. So I have my bronzer and highlighter in one drawer, and then this Charlotte Tilbury palette is the dividing line between my highlighters and my bronzers. And then back here, I have my blushes. Honestly, I don't really find that I use powder highlighters all that often, which is why I didn't really bring a ton with me. Um, I mostly use cream highlighters, but the ones that I did bring are all the Vesca highlighters. These are some of my favorites. This is one of my favorite colors. It's in the shade Moonlight. These Nabla highlighters I also find to be pretty underrated. This over here is another Nabla highlighter, also just so freaking stunning. This is the Skin Glazing Highlighter in Ozone. This over here is an hourglass powder. This actually isn't even a highlighter, it's a powder, but it does have kind of like a skin glowing property to it. It's really beautiful, but I'm gonna put this in the powder section because it's not supposed to be there. Um, then I have my Essence Pure Nude Becca highlighter in Opal, classic. And then I actually have a Marc Jacobs eyeshadow here in Primo. And this is, like I said, an eyeshadow, but I love it for a highlighter. It's quite, gorgeous like i said this guy over here is my charlotte tilbury film star bronze and glow palette so it's a contour powder and a highlighter and then my bronzers i have my vesca bronzer in santorini which looks like such a hot mess this is one of my favorite bronzers though it's very 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 pretty it's nice and matte nars laguna a classic hula from benefit hourglass radiant bronze light one of my favorite more glowy bronzers it's very pretty love that Becca Capri Coast, Lila B bronzer, this Gucci bronzer, which is so overpriced but so beautiful, and this new Dior one that I've been testing out. Back here we have blushes. Clearly, I'm very loyal to certain brands because I have multiples from a couple different brands here. We have some from Charlotte Tilbury. These are the Week to Cheek Pop and Glow blushes. They look like this. They're very, very pretty. These are the Cover FX monochromatic blush duos. So in these guys, you have like a matte side and then kind of like a shimmery side. I love these so much. Hourglass blushes, some Becca blushes. This is actually blushes that I wanted to bring over because I really do love the Becca blushes, but again, I feel like I kind of forgot about them. And so I wanted to make sure they got some, some love. This one in particular is so freaking pretty. Oh my God. This is called Songbird. MAC blushes, um, Buxom. These are from Laura Mercier. And what's this? This is a Patrick Tush. She's adorable monochromatic moment blush. This reminds me actually that I need to bring my Patrick Tush cream blushes to the studio because I use them a ton and I want them here. But this one is one of his powder ones. It's really pretty. Okay, next door we have my primers and foundations. I thought that it just made sense that my primers and foundations were in the same drawer. It's probably my most filled up section, I would have to say. So starting off first with my foundations, I really just brought all the foundations that I know I love and use. Obviously we have some of my all time favorites, YSL Touche Clat All in One Glow, Rare Beauty Foundation, pretty much the only foundation I've been wearing, Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizers, Makeup Forever Reboot, Shiseido Sinker Skin, an all time favorite. Um, what's this guy? Ooh, Armani Luminous Silk. Estee Lauder Double Wear back here. This is from Lancome. Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation. This is another one of my favorites. Laura Mercier, another one of my favorites. Flawless of the Year. Very full coverage. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. Milani Screen Queen. Probably my favorite foundation from the drugstore at the moment. And we have a Makeup Forever Ultra HD as well. And then the primers back here. I also wanted to bring a little bit of everything. Um, I wanted to make sure that I covered all of my bases. So I have my glowy primers, like my glossy Future Dew, gripping primers, like my Milk Hydro Grip, Tatcha Smoothing Primer in the putty form, as well as the liquid form, which is back here. Just pure hydrating primers, like the Smashbox Primerizer. I have the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer. This is a great, very, very simple primer. Smashbox Vitamin Glow, also love that. It's obviously got the MAC Strobe Cream, a classic, L'Oreal Lumi Glotion, some Hourglass Primers here. We have the smoothing one as well as the number 28, the NARS Glow Booster back here, this guy from Charlotte Tilbury, the Brightening Youth Glow. This guy from By Terry is also so good, the Brightening CC Serum, kind of similar to the Debronzy, 
but definitely more glowy. And yeah, I think that kind of covers it all. Okay, then we move into the closed off area. And this is closed off because I just don't find that these boxes are super pretty to look at, but this is where I keep all of my eyeshadows. So I have one, two, three eyeshadow boxes here. So starting off first with this bin, this is where I keep all of my Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes. I brought them all here with me. Over here are all of my Charlotte Tilbury palettes that I brought with me. We have a couple of the larger ones here and then some of the smaller ones. It's kind of a little bit messy because I just took these out for a video. I also have a couple other smaller palettes here like this Rowan eyeshadow palette, which looks like this. I recently featured this in a video. And I have my Fenty Snap Shadows here as well. In this bin, I have a bunch of my Marc Jacobs palettes. I also put all of my Anastasia palettes in here together. And then over here, I have my Urban Decay palettes. The Ultraviolet, the Honey. This one is the Heat Cherry palette, Naked Reloaded, and then the Born to Run. Over here, I have my Pat McGrath palettes, my Mothership palettes. House Laboratories, a random Tarte palette. This is Tartlet Toasted. So these are actually all of my Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes. I wanted to keep them all in one place. So I have pretty much all of them over here. These are also Obsessions palettes. I also have my Milani palettes here. I got two of them. This is Sultry and Pure Passion. Two ColourPop palettes. This is the It's My Pleasure and the Main Squeeze palette. And then I also have another ColourPop palette here that I recently just, just got actually. This is called the Sandstone palette. Normally I'm not like the biggest, biggest fan of ColourPop palettes. I feel like sometimes they miss the mark, but this one I thought was gorgeous. So I would love to use this in a future video. So this is my makeup prep area. This is probably honestly what I most love about my office space. And that, that may sound kind of silly because it's literally just a table, but this table has allowed me to kind of step up my game when it comes to organization, organizing my videos. By the way, ignore my garbage over there. Pretend that doesn't exist. But I pretty much use this table to organize my makeup and organize myself for future videos. So these bins over here are key. I got these from Ikea. They're amazing. They were like $3 each. So starting off first with my to try bin. So when I unbox PR makeup or I get new makeup and I bring it to my office, I'll put that new makeup in one of my to try bins. And that way, when I am trying to prep for a new video or trying to come up with video ideas, I have a bin with all of the new products that I know I want to feature in a video. So maybe it'll spark a video idea or it will just kind of let me know what I need to focus on or what I want to focus on. So for example, right now I have this NARS palette this is the new NARS Extreme Effects eyeshadow palette that I know I want to feature in a future video. And I also have another to try bin right here with the new Rare Beauty eyeshadow palettes and some new Bare Minerals um, brow products as well that I want to perhaps feature in a future video. Then we have my video bins. If I already know that I'm doing a particular video and I know ex the exact products that I'm going to be featuring in that video, I will create a bin with all of those products. So all the products that you see in here, don't look, <laughs> are gonna be in a future video. So that way when I come in in the morning and it's time to film, I grab this bin and I start filming right away. There's no hesitation, there's no looking for products, there's no, oops, I forgot this or I forgot that. Everything is all in one place. Then we have my brand work bin. So when I have a partnership with a brand or a sponsorship, then I like to organize all of my products in one place. That way I know that when the time comes that I need to actually create the content, everything is here. So these are all of my organization bins. Then over here, we have my little giveaway bin. This is where I put the products that um, I'm giving away, <laughs> pretty self-explanatory. Pretty much used to do all of this, just like sitting on the floor in the middle of my office at my house. And so it's just so nice to actually have a section dedicated to this whole process. Besides that, I got a nice little mirror in front of me here. We have a bottle of champagne that I actually got in PR. So I just figured I would display it for now. A little pineapple candle, some tape. Over here, we got some dried flowers that was gifted to me from the Alper sisters. They're so freaking beautiful. I love them so much. And I have another one of my illustrations that I made. So cute. So guys, that is it. That is my office makeup collection and storage and how I kind of do everything. I hope that you enjoyed it. This is probably gonna change quite a bit. Keep in mind, I just 
set this up so things are definitely going to evolve and i could always update you guys when things do evolve but for now i really love the way the way it is i think it's fantastic so i hope that you guys liked it and i will see you guys in the next one bye